All right, so on today's episode, uh, we are going to do wiring. Your favorite. Absolutely. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this as long as I can't remember. <laughs> you're, you're, this is not your forte. Nope. It's not my strength either. Uh, but we've enlisted the help of a friend of yours, Matt. Matt. Yep. And Matt is very qualified. Well, he's a, an electrical engineer. Yep, so he builds harnesses. He's an electrical engineer. And a Miata owner. And a Miata owner. So checks all the boxes there. Ding, ding. All right. Um, so yeah, he's going to help you out? Yeah, he's, uh, he's for some reason, volunteered to come over. <laughs> Why? And help tear apart both the Miata harness, the K24 harness, and the Honda Element harness. And make them all kind of jive together real nice. Okay, yeah, like you're you're doing a bunch of different harnesses. You said, I think, if I'm not mistaken, like K Miata is building a plug and play harness, but they don't have one ready yet. Right. So here we are. At, at, the, <laughs> at this moment at in this time, moment. there is no swap harness available like there is plug for and like play. the EK Civics and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, there is no off the shelf harness. K Miata does supply you with a conversion harness. Uh, so it's got relays on it and the stock. Honda ECU or Honda wiring harness plugs into this end, and then these wires here that are all free, uh, they all serve as parts of the Miata dashboard, like your oil pressure, coolant temperature, tachometer, fuel pump, stuff like that. So that all said and done, it will function and look like a totally stock Miata. You'll have all your gauges. Uh, you don't have to sacrifice anything for this kit swap, which is very nice for me. I don't like you know having dead gauges on a dashboard. It just looks unfinished. Yeah. So this would be nicely tied up. Nice. Beautifully functioning piece. Nice. And uh, we're anticipating three weeks? Yeah, I, for... bu I budgeted like three weeks for all this wiring stuff. Yeah, so, so if, if they had a plug-and-play harness available, you would, you'd you probably go with it. Yeah, it would probably be, you know, a couple of days. Of, you still would have to splice into the stock harness. We're going to do a little extra work to make ours kind of nice, <laughs> but uh, there's, uh, I believe, Panic is working on it, so it's going to be a nice harness right out of the box, plug-and-play. Uh, I, I would have gone with it if it was available at this time. Nice. Well, we'll jump right in and uh, get started here. Watch me suffer. <laughs> hey guys, so for those of you that don't know me, I absolutely hate anything to do with wiring, electronics, or anything like that. It terrifies me. I'm always afraid I'm going to burn the car down when I'm done. So the big barrier to entry for this swap to me was the fact that you have to splice a bunch of wiring harnesses together, like the stock K24 Z3 engine harness with a stock Honda Element harness. There's parts of each that have to go, there's parts of each that have to stay. Uh, you need a stock charge harness from a Honda Element, as well as the stock Miata harness. All four of them need to interconnect and talk to each other so that the dashboard works like it should, you know, OEM, everything, gauges. Uh, these new injectors will work, the alternator charging system works, and the ECU is a modified element ECU, so for everything to plug into itself, it needs parts of the element harness. So, uh, that's terrifying to me, but to my buddy Matt, who's an electrical engineer, as a living, uh, he said it doesn't look too bad. So he's on his way over right now, and we're going to start laying everything out, uh, reading the instructions multiple times to make sure we get this right, and then... Uh, it's probably a couple days worth of work. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it at all. And then we'll have to pull some of the engine harness stuff out of that side of the car and splice it all together. I have complete faith in Matt. Uh, he builds harnesses for a living at his job. So I know he'll do it right. He'll do it nice. Uh, I bought everything to make it look like a nice mil spec race harness. Uh, Cause why not make it look nice while you're in there? So it's gonna be a long process, but We'll get it done, and hopefully when we turn the key, she'll start right up.
going to try and crank the motor over for the first time. Uh, we're going to check for oil pressure, make sure it actually cranks over, and that's really about it. And then we're going to take the dashboard all apart and put everything back together the way it should be and check things like fuel leaks and whatnot. So my anxiety is through the roof right now, so hopefully this goes well. Uh, Matt has done a killer job doing all the wiring on this, so uh, I have less doubts than if I did it myself. Crank it? <laughs> Leave it in like the on position for a sec. That wasn't the on position, actually. So this is off. That's on. Yep. It's doing things. Something's ticking over there. Yeah, something is ticking. But it sounds like it's supposed to, like a check relay. That makes sense, because that's what his main relays do. Right. Oh, there's lights! Yeah, there's lights. Oh! Belts! I'm Belts. not wearing my seatbelt. Your seatbelt, you nerd! Uh, can one of you watch the front, make sure no fuel comes out, make sure it doesn't start vomiting oil, <laughs> uh, and then nothing gets blown in. Ready? Yep. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> it was just like, <laughs> boof, boof, boof. Oh Do you have that camera on? I did. Okay. We're going to leave these on. <laughs> yeah, I was like, these are, these are loose. They'll be all right. Should all right. I keep watching the front? Or? Yes, please. Okay. Pressure. That's better than no pressure. Yeah. Sweet. And no leaks. No oil leaks. I don't see. Am I? Am I missing nothing? No. No. Going dry. That's kind of weird. It's kind of. Sick. Wiring is a wrap. Quite literally. Ha. Finally. Uh, it was the longest part of the whole case swap so far. It's This is the third Saturday in a row that we've worked on it. Uh, yeah. Kind of four to six hour days. I've done a little, a couple little things after work here and there, but uh, four to six hour days with two to three of us doing it every time. Uh, yeah. We also, we went a little farther than we had to by using this nice wiring loom and labeling all the wires and whatnot. But Well, if you haven't picked this up already, Stefan is extra. So... Very extra. <laughs> <laughs> do it once, do it right. So we are thankfully done. We actually turned the motor over today. Didn't turn it on, just turned it over. Uh, it built up oil pressure like 25, 30 pounds. And then front fuel system, no real fuel leaks, a couple little like seeping spots here and there. One of them's already fixed. The other one I'll fix tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, it's got gas, it's got crank. Yeah, and I mean, Matt, a friend of yours, would, yeah. we would not have been able to, to do this. <laughs> no way. Uh, without his help. Yeah, he and uh, he was essential in this coming into a reality for us, really. He, he really did all of it, and he just pointed at me and was like, do this to that. And I was like, all right. And then he went off and did the, the harder stuff and came back and kind of walked me through the little stuff. So, yeah, without him, I wouldn't have been able to do this. What's next here? Uh, we're waiting on the exhaust manifold still. Oh, come on! Okay. Uh, I need to actually let me look at my handy list here. Uh, we got to pull the dashboard back out. Uh, there's one little thing we want to switch with the wiring, and then start putting the dash boxes and all that stuff back in the car, and make it look like a real car. But really, it's just final touch-ups. So and final touch-ups, and then we turn the key. Yep, and then and cross our fingers. Yeah, turn the key <laughs> with a pretty much a downpipe dump because we don't have an exhaust yet, but. We will make an exhaust uh, shortly, so that'll be also a sweet video to have. Awesome. So yeah, that's that's a wrap. Uh, subscribe down below. I know we've uh, we passed the hundred subscribers, which is a big deal for us. Uh, we we made a little cardboard, cardboard sign. play sign for that, but uh, but no, seriously, it's been 
uh, awesome so far, all the support that we're getting for the channel and everything like that. So join along and uh, come along for the ride. It's going to be good. It's all, we're only getting started. We've done all build series stuff to this point. Once we build this, like that's when the real fun happens. We're going to go driving. We're going to do a track day. We're going to record that. We've got a bunch of stuff lined up for, uh, for plans for this year. So Once it stops uh, snowing here. Once build season's over. Yeah. Winter. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, subscribe. Good. Yeah, we don't have to do two takes anymore. And then prime the fuel setup. It's recording? Yeah. All right. There's a lot going on there.